In the event of a disaster, you may not be at home. The EPC recommends a go bag for each family member placed in your car's trunk. Some have a go bag at work as well. The bag should be easy to carry. Backpacks work well. The following are recommendations for items to be included in your go bag. However, it is important for each bag to be personalized for individualized needs. Your priority should be a three-day supply of food and water. There are many opportunities to purchase food and water that has a long shelf life. These foods should be calorie dense and lightweight. Remember, you will be carrying these. Include sturdy, comfortable shoes along with warm socks. Your feet must be cared for. They could be your main mode of transportation. If space permits, add clothing that can be layered or removed as the day goes on. You might be glad to have a poncho with a hood. Print out and store in a plastic Ziploc bag your out-of-state contact list, emergency phone numbers, a list of any food or drug allergies, a copy of your insurance information, and a list of any medications you take. Have a copy of your driver's license and passport and social security card. These should be on your computer and backed up in either an email form or in the cloud on a server. In your go bag, have a flashlight and batteries, a solar charger for your cell phone, and a battery-operated radio. You should include vinyl gloves, work gloves, duct tape, and a multi-tool device such as a Swiss Army knife in your kit. Tuck in waterproof matches and add water purification tablets and add a whistle. Lastly, keep waterproof an envelope of small bills. If the power is out, ATMs won't work. Have a three-day supply of your current medications as well as extra prescription glasses. Your go bag should be reviewed at least annually for out-of-date items. Preparation for disaster gives peace of mind. Stay safe!